Hi students. Hi students. Happy morning to all. Welcome to seventh standard video. Today I am going to teach you seventh standard English supplementary reader term two, uh, unit two, supplementary reader, the home of Chitra Kaus, the home of Naya, the home of Chitra Kaus. Okay, students. In uh, last class, in our last class, we had uh, learn about uh, Naya is a quiet little village in West Bengal's Mitnapur district. It is not an ordinary village. It is not an ordinary village. Around two thousand, uh, sorry, two hundred and fifty partias or chitragats or artists live there. It is not ordinary village. Around 250 uh, partiyas or chitrakas or uh, artists live there. These folk artists, these folk artists or painters, lyrics, singers and uh, perform performers all grow in to one. Okay. This art has been practiced. This act has been practiced since the 13th century. This art has been practiced since the 13th century. Traditionally, such stories, traditionally, such storytellers took their painter scrolls from village to village, uh, village to village. Traditionally, such storytellers took their uh, painted scrolls from village to village. In every village, uh, they unrolled the, unrolled the uh, scrolls uh, frame by frame. Okay, students. So people lost interest in this art form and there were a few artists and fewer listeners. Okay students. A traditional pattern, a traditional uh, pattern was painted on a canvas made of jute fiber. Okay. It is made by stretching together sheets of commercial poster paper. See that, see the picture. It is made by stitching together sheets of commercial poster paper. The colors come from plants such as marigold, indigo, tea leaves, saffron and turmeric. They also use lamp black. They also use lamp black. The colors are mixed in coconut cells with the shape of the peltry. Peltry means wood apple. Wood apple. Peltry means wood apple. Which act, okay, which act as a clue, which act as a clue. So the colors, the colors are mixed in a coconut cells with the shape of peltry. After finishing, after finishing uh, their uh, uh, painting, a thin cotton cloth is glued to the back of the uh, painting. So that it will last long, so that it will last long. Next, the completed scrolls are dried in the sun before they are stored in rolled bundles. Next, the completed scrolls. Next, the completed scrolls are dried in the sun before they are stored in rolled up bundles. Today, the partias make rectangular and square shaped paintings of different sizes. Today, the partias make uh, rectangular and square shaped paintings. Square shaped paintings of different sizes social messages like conservation of uh, conservation of trees female infanticide child trafficking and aids awareness figure in their paintings they also paint images of traditional subject such as a cat eating a lobster of lobster or fish uh, tigers row of uh, cows row of cows or white owls so, they also paint images of traditional subjects. What are the traditional subjects? Such as a cat eating a lobster or a fish, tigers, a row of cows or white uh, owls. The Patias today do not make too many long story scrolls. They, they, uh, today, they do not make too many long story uh, scrolls. A few of them still sing their self-composed song, but only on demand. But only on demand. 
The Patochitra art tradition was traditionally passed down from father to father to son. The Patochitra art is art traditionally was traditionally passed passed from father to son. But today many Pato women have also taken up up the craft. Many uh, Pato women Pato women uh, have also taken up the craft. Under a under an uh, initiative art livelihood. Under an initiative art for livelihood. Some of these women are leading local development. So, Pathya Chitra art was traditionally passed from father to son, but today many Pathya women has also taken up the craft. Since 2010, since 2010s, an annual three-day festival. Since 2010, an annual three-day festival, Pot Maya, has been held to celebrate the success of the local artist. Held in November every year, held in November every year, the festival exhibits modern paintings as well as scrolls that dating back hundreds of years. At this time, the villagers paint the mud walls of their houses with the colorful Pata Chitra modified and hang scrolls on ropes in the uh, courtyards. They also clean up their surroundings and decorate the entire village with the flowers to get ready for vis visitors. During the festival, the quiet hamlet is transformed to a vibrant cultural hub. The cultural hub that visitors can learn about the craft of Pate Chitra. Watching a potter sinking gently as he or she unfolds the scrolls is an unforgettable experience. The play of light and shadow from the oil lamps on the soft colors and delicate imagery of the painting is magical. If you are interested, if you are interested in traditional art and crafts, do visit the unique village. Unique village. It will be a delightful, uh, delightful experience in a beautiful rural setting. Sir. If you are interested, students, if you are interested in traditional art and uh, craft, you do visit the unique village. It will be delightful experience. It will be delightful experience in a beautiful rural setting. Sir. Okay, students. I hope you enjoy and learn about the uh, supplementary Naya, the home of Chitrakas, not only supplementary, you learn about the painting, about the painting. People's Pate Chitra, uh, Chitrakas, and that, that artist painting, Pate Chitra paintings, you learn about Pate Chitra paintings. Okay, students, thank you. Thank you for watching my video. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you.